Well, folks, after being in the shop for months now, I'm happy to announce my Alco C630 number 2001 from CN is back in service. I've been doing uh, a lot of modding on this locomotive, as I'm sure some of you guys might remember. Last spring, I took the uh, decoder out of one of my Bachman Sound Value B units, which was broken. I took the motor and everything out of that. And over the last few months, I've been very, very slowly uh, basically putting all those components in this locomotive that you see here, uh, which is my uh, CN Alco C630, which I got in uh, Merrickville at Larkspur all the way back in 2013. Uh, this really is a special locomotive, and uh, I'm really happy that uh, the modding is finally done. So, if we give this sucker some power, it should, yeah. You guys hear that? It now has sound capabilities, so that's something I'm really thrilled about. Getting all the components in there was uh, no small feat because not only did I, uh, you know, put the sound decoder in there, but I was nervous, you know, uh, the older motor that was in there being an old Athern, uh, that it would be too high current for the uh, sound value decoder. So I put the Bachman motor in there as well, and it's a newer motor, so it should do well. Bachman actually makes pretty good motors in my opinion, so uh, I'm pretty happy. Uh, but basically retrofitting uh, the components inside what's essentially an RSO locomotive to work with a Bachman motor uh, are not necessarily, uh, you know, the easiest thing to do, especially, you know, getting the transmission to hook up. So anyway, I did finally get that done about yesterday. Uh, I had the model running around and then today I finally finished it up. I got the speaker in, I got the decoder mounted and I got everything soldered up and it seems to be okay. So, without further ado, let's run it. You can see right here I actually took the liberty of programming it to the right address, which is something nice. Although I'm gonna need uh, your guys' help on something because uh, this thing sounds really, really quiet and I have identical Bachman sound value locomotives with the exact same hardware and uh, they're a lot louder. And I remember the B unit being quieter, so I'm not sure if that's something uh, in the CVs that can be adjusted, but I don't know how to do that. I couldn't access the uh, CV number and I can't seem to find it anywhere. So if any of you guys know what uh, CV I need to uh, increase the sound, please let me know. Anyway, if we give her some power, you can see, there she goes. And it's running pretty well. It's, uh, the physical components, not the sound uh, components, are a little louder than I'd like. It might need a little bit of oiling here and there. But uh, overall, I mean, it is uh, working, obviously, as you can see. And if I uh, put it in reverse here, it's uh, working just fine as well, which is good to see. Getting uh, everything, kind of retrofitting all those components into an older locomotive is not the easiest thing to do, especially wire management is something that I personally struggle with. So uh, yeah, the fact I was able to get it all together in one day was uh, something I was not uh, really expecting. So I was really happy when it all came together as it did. Anyway, I'm uh, happy to have this model back as it is. And uh, I think it's going to be a great addition to the collection. I'd even really like to run it at train clubs because it's one of the few pieces of stock I have that they'd probably actually like. And uh, the original owner of this, uh, according to the guy at the shop, I mean, you can observe this for yourself, but uh, it really took, uh, you know, a lot of attention to detail. These models didn't exist whenever, uh, when he kitbashed this thing, uh, this model did not exist. So uh, you, you can see. There are some things like the lights are all jeweled, so they're not uh, perfectly realistic, but like great uh, weathering work along here. And uh, overall, the handrails and all the other details I just thought were really well done. And even on the inside, too, uh, before I did all the modding on it, I could really appreciate that some effort was put into uh, making the drive system pretty good. So, uh, yeah, all uh, details that I quite appreciate. Anyway, I want to thank everyone for watching, and uh, yeah, we'll probably, uh, probably see this thing in some future videos. Anyway, thanks for watching, everyone.